of all the music. What's chilling dudes, it's Trouble here, and welcome back to another episode of Resident Rise 3 on the Hive Mind server, of course. Currently, no one's on, reason being the server just reset. And someone might come up actually, because it's about the time where like the British and the Americans wake up. Well, actually, the British have been around for a while, but it's about the time when the, the Americans wake up. I've been mining. Uh, so last episode, we were getting into magical crops, and a comment from Bell, actually, he said that I'm going to need a lot of essence dust. So I used a 25-minute night vision potion, which was a gift uh, from VB, because he's already gone into magical crops. Server reset. Uh, it'll take a little bit of time. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, oh, I also mastered my uh, Tartarite pick, by the way. Uh, with the Iguana tweaks, it means that you can level up your Tinker's Construct tools. There we go. And you get, like, modifiers and little Tinks. <gasps> <Ey! laughs> I, oh. I thought I had to go mine some. An Anon -an -an Mouse gift from an Anon Foe person. Oh. Oh, I just went to get essence dust. Oh, that is nice. That is really nice. Oh my gosh, that's a really big barrel. Thank you, anonymous person. I'm thinking either VB or Dolan, to be honest, because either of them have like the power to go get that dust. I got like 11. I got 1200 dust. Oh, I shouldn't have used the night vision potion. Dang it! Dang it, anonymous person. I will find you eventually. Oh wait, the sign on the back. Green is the bestest color. That's Dolan, I think. I think it's Dolan. Dolan likes green. It must be Dolan. Right, Dolan. VB, if I got it wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> if it's anyone else, I'm sorry as well. Oh dear. Right. We're going to do some more magical crops. Okay, so what I'm planning to do this episode is I'd like to go get into some building because Kiwi Corpse is supposed to be a factory and we kind of don't really have a factory yet. So I want to go get into a little bit of factory building. And because I want to also improve my building style as well. So we'll we'll do some building this episode and also we'll do some magical crops. Sweet. So I haven't really done too much since the last episode. Mostly the reason being I've been preoccupied with some other things which are coming up on the channel. Some interesting things. You guys are going to love them. Or well, I hope anyway. Right. So I think the next step is... The weather. I think the next step is the... Oh, we need extreme essence, I believe. So, what do we need to do? Let's do extreme essence. Weak essence. We need to make some weak essence, I think. Two. Three. Do we have enough weak essence? Okay, that's enough weak essence. We can go make ourselves some wither soul seeds and I'll be growing this off camera because these take ages to make uh, this sh uh, well we only need a uh, stack of regular essence anyway uh, let's see strong essence we need to make some of that <laughs> I got 18 but we need 16 then it's all compacting into fours which is really cool oh no <laughs> wrong one and then we go into extreme essence that makes four. And then lastly we just do this. And we have all of those wither seeds. Sweet. Now we'll go plant them really quick. What I also have to do really quickly is ah, oh, I've I need to go add some lily pads of fertility in the very center to help the uh, grow these a lot faster. Oh no. We can actually harvest all of these. Neat. Uh let me go do a little bit of growing and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Ah, oh, I've been torpedoing the garden there for a little bit. All right, so I've added some extra crops. Uh, I I added some dye because I I need dye, but uh, dye is really useful. But like to have every single source of dye is irritating. So having a dye, a dye magical crops is awesome. Also added uh, some iron crops because I'm gonna be messing with some iron stuff later on. Uh, there's some iron stuff you can do. There's a lot of stuff you can do with magical crops. Such as you can make some glowstone blocks or something with it. Like glowstone tinted blocks. Yeah, like these bricks are uh, glowstone tinted magical crops. And then with iron, I was thinking about messing with the iron 
st like these iron essence bricks and whatnot. I think that would be really cool because it looks real. It looks awesome. Yeah. All right. Uh, I've also gotten here enough to make the work in progress thingy uh, orb. Hel Wait. I don't. I don't even know what it's called to be honest. Essence orb. There we go. Uh, let's make one of these. I think we can make it. Bang. That's for that. And then lastly, I think the essence orb. I don't know what what is the essence orb for. I didn't even look at this. I think all I need is the master infusion stone. Um, essence orb, magical crops. What is this for? Well, there's not even a paid for it. Okay, I'll just leave it alone for the moment. Uh, well, what is the Master Infusion Stone for? It's... Oh, the Master Infusion Stone's for... Yeah, for any dust. Yeah, that's all we need. We don't need the Essence Orb, do we? Um... Oh, we might as well go make the uh, Master Infusion thingy bar, whatever it is. So, yeah, let's go make this. Uh, we need... All of the Essence Dust again. Oh, bugger. Dang it! Okay, we can do this. Oh, there we go. Uh, four of these. Oh, Dolan helped out heaps with giving us all of the essence. No, 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 no. Okay, we need uh, regular essence. Stack, sweet. 16. Compacting it all into four, eventually. Uh, extreme. And then last of all, oh, we need the Eyes of Ender as well. Sweet, and then bang, bang, we got the essence orb, sweet, nice, we could do a lot of stuff. What I want to do uh, later is I want to go make an essence factory, where it makes the extreme essence, like, really easily, just automatically, so we don't have to do it ourselves. But that shall come in time. Alright, we could probably do it with the AE system, but I kind of want to do it automatically. Neat. I also added the uh, lily pads of fertility, so you could see them in the very centre of these crops. Give me the seeds. There we go, thank you. Uh, yeah, so I added the lily pads of fertility from Reliquary mod. So that's going to help them grow. Yeah, should be good, sweet. Okay, I've been um, looking over here. Let's work on the factory a little bit. So, I've got a, a, a variety of blocks. Uh, let's get rid of these. Do, do, do. I've got... Let's get started on this factory. So I've got a variety of blocks. I'm not sure what to use. I've got like some brick and I've got some factory blocks and some marble and travel anchor. Well, that's for the actual factory itself so we don't have to travel so far. I think what I want to do for the factory, I've got an image. I'm not sure whether I'll show it, but it's a futuristic factory and I kind of want to go make the futuristic factory or base my, like, base the build off it because I like it a lot. So, we need a futuristic... Futura block. What? That looks really cool. I wouldn't mind using that. Glowing screen with metallic borders. That is probably not what we need. Tyrion. Tyrion looks good. We should try using Tyrion. How do we make Tyrion? Tyrion. That seems alright. Uh, do, do, do. If only you can make the wireless terminal crafting. But that seems a little bit overpowered to be honest. Right, let's make two stacks of those, and then we'll get the chisel. Let's see how this goes. Uh, we'll want probably the shiny one. I like shiny. And let's also sleep this night off. Do do. Yeah, no one, no one's on yet. Do 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 do. Neat. So we're gonna go have the factory here. Uh, let's see, I'm looking at a uh, at a picture currently on my second monitor. So this is what the corner looks like. Two, three, four, five, and then this would be essentially glass. Does that look good as a factory over there? Yeah, that could be all right. I might move this actually really quickly. I'm going to do some work off camera and I'll see you guys in a bit. Server's being really weird right now. Holy cow. Alright. Uh, I've been messing around with certain types of blocks like uh, the Tyrion and I don't really like the Tyrion. Uh, it 
debatable. I'm going to look for a different block. <laughs> Maybe the quartz chisel will have something. Block of blaze quartz. Huh, in Britannia. Interesting. Maybe the quartz will have something interesting. Coloured green frequency. Might use the quartz. I th the coloured block of quartz looks interesting. I might use that for the factory instead. Hmm. We'll have to see. I wonder whether ha that has any borders. I think borders would look really nice. Maybe just a normal block of quartz. What are the chisel blocks like? Chisel to quartz. Well, I can't really type quartz. Wait. Alright. There are fantasy blocks. Holy cow. There's a lot of things in... Oh, gosh. Purpled fantasy block. There's a lot of things in this god dang mod. Alright. Yeah, but... Uh, if you have a Google factory, this is probably one of the like top search results, but I'm drawing inspiration from the factory build. I think, I'm thinking that I might just build factories from Google Images and then build them all around the place and then kind of have like a little city of factories or something, like futuristic factories or something like that. Kind of have like a little bit of a futuristic town and then eventually I'll perfect my building style of factories from building multiples and multiples of factories from Google Images, yes. Uh, I've also discovered the asphalt from Chisel 2, which is the Chisel 2 variation of concrete, which allows you to travel a little bit faster. I like this a lot. Uh, I've raised this off the floor. I think this is a nice little um, look. Just a little nice look, having it off the floor and not exactly in the floor. Uh, God dang it! Server! Jeez, let me open this up. But the plan is to have the road loop around, probably have a little bit of a garage over there, and then have the front door here, which means that we would need to open it. God dang it, the server's misbehaving. There we go, it opened. Wait. Stop. Stop. Stop! <laughs> Stop it! What was I even trying to search? I can't even remember anymore. Oh, right, yeah, I was going to go for a factory block and then I was going to go try... God dang it, server. No! Ah, dang it, whatever. I was going to have the factory blocks uh, lining the sides, probably blue or something. I think that would look really nice. But let me go play a little bit more around with this. I might have to relog. This is getting insane. So yeah, I've been building for a little bit and then I completely gave up on what I previously had as the factory theme and I'm started working on this. I don't know. It's, it's looking really good. But you can see where the original factory used to be. So I changed it all out with uh, the coloured block of quartz, white frequency. And then I had window here, window here, window here and then the door here and then I'm like I could move the windows in so I move those windows in and I'm like wait a minute the top doesn't look good so I got rid of the top and then I'm like wait a minute this corner didn't look good so I got rid of that and basically I'm just starting to make my own little thing which I think is awesome about Minecraft in which you can just go off on a tangent and you'll still end up with something like as good as what you were originally planning to make huh. Looking really nice though. Uh, so, yeah, a little bit of a vision and whatnot. I think this is going to be a garage, like, in here. I don't, I don't know what floor it's going to be. But I've just been messing around a little bit and whatnot. I'll probably have to do a lot off camera because I am not a good builder on camera. Let's go sleep this. Do you want to... I want to... Yes, I do want to sleep on that. I guess I don't want to sleep on concrete. Hmm, but I do want to sleep on the metal blocks. The metal factory blocks. Go away, rain. Yeah, looking really good. Got some stained glass uh, from Chisel 2. It's light blue. I had blue stained glass, except... No, it didn't really look so good. And then I've got a blue stripe running through the entire thing, so I think that looks really nice. And I have to work more, of, uh, more with that off-camera. But I think for the remainder of this episode... What we'll do is we'll set up an essence factory for the magical crops and we're going to go plant it inside this factory itself. So what I'm probably going to do for a little bit is I'm going to go quickly rush an outline of the factory so we can actually place...
Hmm, why didn't it that place? The, my connection's been awful today. Let's get rid of that. So I'm gonna go quickly rush the uh, rest of... God dang it, flowers! I'm gonna rush quickly the rest of its outline so we can basically have a little place where we can store the magical crops. I think this could be like a magical crops building. I think that could look really cool. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I've been working on the outline a little bit more and I was kind of deciding what I wanted for a floor for the uh, now decided magical crop building which is all blue and I, I like how blue it is. I've never really liked blue I guess as a colour but I'm really liking it in the building. I don't know, blue just seemed like a colour which everyone liked, so I personally didn't want to like it, so, but I, I am liking it a little bit more now. I still like orange, but I'm liking the blue. Uh, yeah, I've set up something really quickly. So, I was looking around like blocks, essentially what we wanted for our factory. Let's quickly go up, I'll show you. Um, yeah, so I've done a little bit more work on the outside, uh, some detailing. Over here, I really like that. Uh, I've got some long windows there, uh, probably a little garage there, just some really quick stuff. And then on the inside, I was deciding what to choose, and I saw in Chisel 2, there was a block called the Waterstone, and the Waterstone looks really cool with, like, the running animations of the water and the stone brick. I mean, it's pretty simply made. Well, it, it required a lot of water. All of these different stuff. But waterstone uh, basically is stone and water buckets. So I just said, well, let me just quickly chuck the travel wanky here so we don't need to go up and down the elevator all the time. Uh, I just set up something really quickly. So if we go into here, uh, I've got an autonomous activator which is um, using a. Whenever it gets an empty bucket, I'll suck the water out of his reservoir and then I'll uh, extract the. A full water bucket using an item filter from uh, Ender.io puts the water bucket into the cyclic assembler. When that water bucket is empty, it will go back into the autonomous activator and fill it up again. And then in here, all you have to do is uh, put in stone, and then the rest will be done on its own. So it's a little loop, and it uh, creates water stone. I just set up really quickly because I tried making a little bit to see whether it worked or not. Definitely did, but it is tiresome to try and make it. Hey. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> that looks really weird. I don't know what it's called. It's some sort of Z filtering? Z gamma thingy? That looks really weird, but from the top, and when it doesn't do that, it looks awesome. I think it's because I've got the uh, builder's wand on. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It looks like it's not doing it with the builder's wand. Sweet, so what I wanted to do right now was I wanted to make the Essence Factory. It's kind of weird having magical crops in a blue building, especially when most of magical crops is green. Especially with the stuff like the uh, crops and also the Essence Dust. All of it seems to be green. Oh well, we're going to go with blue. Maybe blue and green will go well together. Uh, I've got something called... St I was watching one of VB's uh, Voodoo Beards who's also on the server. No, it's on. No one's logged on during my time on here. I guess everyone's busy. Uh, I was watching one of VB's videos and VB had a setup where let's get a chest. So he had extra utilities filter cobblestone into a chest. So let's try and replicate it really quickly right now. So he had a little extra utility thing. Let's chuck it here. And then because uh, you know, gotta make everything look great. Do that. I wonder what happens when you put lava inside something like over here. Oh, let's need a bucket. I use my bucket uh, in that little loop. I wonder what happens when you put lava next to water stone. I've never used water stone before. I'm ho oh no 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 no, not lava stone. I'm hoping it's just a uh, visually appealing block, but yeah, you'll never know. Lava. Do, do, do. I could just use my Ender.io uh, stuff for traveling. It would make everything a lot faster. Bang. Doesn't. S I don't think it's done anything. Nope. It's visually appealing. Sweet. So let's check that there. Uh, we'll go get a piece of cobblestone. Do we have any water? We could just get water from somewhere. Hold on. Do Probably should have done this off camera, but. It is 3 a.m. 
and I've done a lot of stuff off camera, so I'm happy to do stuff on camera with you, with you guys. Right, water, and then I love this wireless chant thingy above. It's so cool. Right, uh, transfer node. That if, you, if you've ever played modded, you've seen this world interaction. Bang, got a lot of it because of because I no longer need it for the what's it called over there, the uh, steam turbines. That's, yeah, that's picking up cobblestone. That's all do it for the moment. I'll sort it out later. Then we do that. Put cobblestone into there. Sweet. And then VB had something called the Machine Inventory Manager. Which I'm not quite sure how it works. And one on interval. I'm not sure how this works to be honest. Trigger. Oh gosh. No, stop it. No, stop it. Uh, input. No. Trigger. Trigger. God dang it, I don't know. Let me go uh, fiddle a little bit with this and then we'll go call it an episode. Okay, I've been configuring this. Uh, if you want to go see like how it was all made and... Well, filter. Filter. If you want to see like how this was properly made, then I would suggest going to VB's channel because I'm I basically copied what he did because I've never used the uh, Steve's factory manager mod before. But essentially, what this block is doing is it's auto crafting anything which is uh, going on in Cyber's chest. So, oh, there I would prefer some forge micro blocks. Do we have anything here? Eh, good enough. We can use that. There we go. Something happened. Kind of. Not really. Let's get another. But yeah, VB uh, was looking into the... That is not over the, the lava blocks. It's just over there. Hmm. So VB was looking into mods for auto-crafting the essence uh, which he was creating for his magical crops. So he used the Steve Factory's manager to go craft five different recipes. This trigger happens every second and then it inputs uh, items, whatever items, any item which is going on in that chest, the silver chest. Then it crafts uh, essence dust with cobstone and the essence orb, uh, work in progress, which we created. And then uh, with the essence dust, weak, esten uh, weak essence into regular essence. Weak into regular, uh, regular into strong, and then last of all is strong into extreme, and then this is supposed to go into there. There we go. Perfect. Then we just need some extreme essence to be created there, and then we'll be able to go filter it and uh, put it into that better barrel. Sweet. So let's get the essence dust, which. Uh, an, an anonymous person gave us. Or we'll chuck the lavender in there. I mean, we're probably not going to need the lavender eventually. I feel like I'm losing my voice. I'm a little... I feel, I've been a little bit sick. Not really too much. Only a little bit. Regular essence. Why is the regular essence not being crafted? Hmm. Regular essence... Regular essence, it's been crafted into regular essence. That should work. Hmm. I'm gonna go AFK a little bit more and then uh, we'll go finish the episode. Alright, I completely redid the setup. Reason being, um, yeah, I had a Steve's uh, machine inventory manager here and then for some reason, I have no idea why, the entire block just disappeared when I was just doing some commands. I don't understand. Uh, yeah, it's, this is a better setup anyway. Got a cyclic assembler. This is extremely fast, so uh, it crafts the essence dust a, a lot faster than what these Steve's inventory manager did. And then it's inputting all the uh, essence into this chest. Uh, the inventory manager, of course, is doing its work in the background, crafting everything up. And then any every time the strong essence turns into the extreme essence it will uh, and put it into this better barrel through this uh, kind of a facade. I don't know I like it a lot it it works really well I mean this will uh, help 
keep um, a lot of extreme essence for us to deal with next episode. Now, VB is on the server, and we were talking, and he asked what I was going to use the extreme essence for. I have absolutely no clue. If you guys have any suggestions for extreme essence, then feel free to leave it in the comments because I have no idea what I'm supposed to use extreme essence for. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching this episode of Resonant Rise, and I hope to catch you guys on the next episode. So, cheers for watching, dudes. Uh, we've got a good episode planned for next time. Cheers, dudes.